Boom. Yeah. Vixeling. Hey. Boom. Hello Welcome back to Metroid Prime. So, I haven't recorded in over a week. I've been busy. But now I'm back. But that means I've also gotten some more feedback and comments and stuff. And apparently, you're able to... Yep. You are able to jump in Morpheble form by just shaking the Wiimote. Why doesn't the game tell you that, that when you get the ability? Do they... Can, can you read about that in the... Here, Morph Ball. Uh, press C to enter Morph Ball C again to... Blah, 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 blah. Like the power suit, the Morph Ball is modular. There are several modifications that can be added to improve performance. No, it doesn't say anywhere that you can jump with it. Why don't they tell you that? Why... And does this work then? Wait, was it? Yeah, that, that's the bomb, so... And... Yep, I could have gotten that missile tank. The thing is, I'm not gonna go back and get it now because... Oh, we're not playing backtrack the game. This is not <laughs> that kind of let's play. I will go back there later. I will go back there later. Um, you know, once I get some more equipment, I can do other things in the, the Chozer Ruins as well. So we've been over there the last time, and now we're going down into the... This lower area. Under here, which has two entries for some reason. That I don't get why. So what does this... What's this play, play, place gonna be? Go away, mushrooms. Shroomy shrooms. More shrooms. Oh. Unusual energy patterns detected. Energy spike in Fendrana region. So we've had lava, snow, and insect ruins. Oh, that's... Wait, where's energy spike detected? Yeah, wait, that is the ice area. Uh, wait, zoom. How did I zoom out? Was it... Yeah. Because that that was the only... Yeah, and the save room. But I couldn't go anywhere there. So now it tells me there's something going on there. But I can't get there. I can't get there. I tried. I tried very hard. But I... There was nothing... Oh, ow! What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Ah, the darkness hid them. I did not see them. So... Oh! Okay, you do need to morph here. You do need to morph ball. This is the only path I can think of, so... We're going here. That's kind of a cool thing. Oh! Like with this 3D game, that I think is better here than with 2D games, is that... The doors are different colors, you open them with different weapons, sure. But here, there's an actual lock on the door that you have to blow up with the missile. What is this? Flying pirate. Okay, so it's space pirates. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal Im imaging. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. Oh, that's not good. And what's this thing? No, no, the lower thing. This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the Phazon compound the Space Pirates were using in their biological experiments. Hmm. Object out of scanning race. range. And that one too. So, might this game actually have some more stuff to do with the Space Pirate? Because in the previous... Well, they were... In, in Fusion, everything was... Everything except for the final final boss was the ex-parasites. Just copying DNA of stuff. Oh, crap. Uh, boom. No, oh, well, they, okay. Bye. I, I think they were supposed... You weren't supposed to... Ah, uh, this... Oh, oh, holy shit, that scared me. I wasn't prepared for it to... Ah, uh, that's an enemy. Yeah, but in Zero Mission, you didn't really encounter this base part that much. Via... Oh, it's the grapple beam thing. Your grapple beam was damaged from the explosion on the research frigate and cannot currently be used. And thanks for that. 
And what's this thing then? Oh, it's those things. Sapsec, chemical reaction within sac produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave or ingenious creatures dare to devour it. Oh, I, yeah, I've been seeing these a bunch. You just play. And boom. I don't get the reason for them, though. Maybe they can drop, like, is that a thing? The glowy thing in the middle? Yeah, it is. Ah, they drop health. That's nice. Oh, oh, there, there was another one that didn't even... That, I didn't mean to do that. So the pirates do... Oh. White doors. Ah, I can't get any further here. Frigate crash site. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even... Oh. They crashed here, the whole station, after it got exploded. Like, seemingly can't do shit here anyway. Let's see, white. So I need to get red first. So this is much later in the game. And I also need the grapple beam to get past here, seemingly. Well. Where the hell am I supposed to go then? It's telling me to go to the ice area, but I can't go to the ice area as far as I know. I've tried. I've tried doing stuff there, but not working. It is not. It's 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 white wushaba. So, but however, there is one more door in here. Uh, actually, there are two more doors in. Oh yeah, that led to that area. Two more doors in here, but I seemingly cannot get to either of them. But let's. Because, yeah, I couldn't jump from the ship, could I? No, I can't get up from here. Let's try the ship one more time. I know I did it last episode, but just... Eh, no! Uh, eh. Oh, yeah, but there was a cave here, and it... It let... Oh, yeah, and that little hole led down to that area again. So, but doesn't seem to be any, like, grapple beam points. Oh! I get it. You see that room that I've been trying to enter before, that probably leads to that door. Which then you can walk over to that door. So, what the hell game? What am I supposed to do? Uh, like, are there other controls that, I, that the game hasn't told me about? Like the morph ball jump? Is this... Uh... Which... Oh yeah, this is this is the only area I can really go to, I, I guess. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna cut out until I figure out what to do. Okay, I decided to do a little bit of backtracking anyway, and... I've gone into this room, you know, where I got the map, and I realized, oh, there's like a little side tunnel. I don't know if I went in there. But also, I noticed... This wall looks extremely breakable. Like, can I missile it? Oh! Oh! Extra missile tank! Thank you! Increased by 5, yeah, now we have 25. That's good. I don't think I ever scanned this crap. <laughs> yeah, tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. S sentience. Retracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder larger life forms. Yeah, just to slow you down. But yeah, there. There. And hop. Yay! Oh, another one. Oh! Double missile expansions. Cool. Um... Well, so, yeah, thank you so much in the comments there for teaching me a... Oh, that was just a random little light pole. Teaching me about the morph ball jump that actually does exist, even though the game doesn't tell you it does in any way, ever at all. It's like with the... 
Yeah, it seems Metroid games do that from time to time, like the the wall jump from the 2D games. I was never told you could wall jump in those games. I was. It was never. Ne you never get any notice about that. Back in here, the hive mecha room. Yeah. <laughs> The door. Oh yeah, I went in here, but there was nothing here. I didn't have the morph ball back then. So I had to go back. But now, as I do have the morph ball, we can use this as a shortcut. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there were other things in here that we can do as well now that I have the morph ball jump. But I just want to do this one thing. Ugh, this episode is turning out to be exactly what I didn't want it to be. Which is just no progress. And bam. And it was in here. And there was another one of these. Oh, it's a slow one. Eh. Come here. Come here. Come here, friend. Hip. And now it's fast that I'm on it. Of course. Obviously. And jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and ball again. Why? That room is extremely unnecessary. Why does that even exist? That That's just, oh, get out of morph ball uh, mode and do two jumps. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hello, missile expansion number three for this. Oh, I have to redo it. Blip. And blip. Oh, it doesn't let me to go uh, go out. It has to... Eh. And hop, boop. And here, I can't do anything now, and it rolls out automatically. I still can't move. There we go. So, jump, bomb, and jump. Yay! Now it should open up. Yeah! Nice. And there we go. Missile, triple missile expansion. Triple, 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 triple. <laughs> Hmm. Now I'm on the lookout for breakable walls. I think I might have seen another one of those. Uh, but I didn't think much about it. Uh, back, like, really far in into the sec sector. But I'm not going back there. Uh, I guess I'll go back to the snow zone and maybe try morph ball jumping if that helps. Uh, I'll see you there. Okay, I'm very close now. But I, I realized in this area... We could do this. Yeah. And huh, I need another one. No. No. Oh, oh yeah, it breaks. Damn it. Eh, no. And yum bomb and yum bomb. Ooh. Ah. Nice. Oh, why doesn't the game tell you you can do this? That's a lot of extra health. That, it really bothers me. If you get a new thing, and the control thing is so obscure as to make it a motion control thing, that you don't know that you get, and it's not... You usually just use it, you aim around, you don't flick it any time else. You don't, you don't really discover it by accident. It's like, it would be if you were trying to do something, and you just, in frustration, would start shaking the controls that you would discover it. And you had to be in morph ball mode for it to activate even, so... It's really weird. Okay, we are for the third time back in the ice area. Also got another tip about scanning more stuff, so maybe I should... Oh, I think... Did I scan these? No, I didn't. Hmm. Flicker bat, scavenger with optical camouflaging that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flicker bats are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably is with X-ray Im imaging. They fly ceaselessly, ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small prey that float on the air currents. Insects here. It's snowy. You're in the wrong area. Go to the chosen rooms. That's a lot of insects in there. Uh, flicker bats tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate. You'd think the bugs would learn how to uh, 
like where not to go. Oh, oh, it can this be destroyed? Grating has become brittle from temperature fluctuations. Large traces of radion detected. I don't know what radion is, but maybe that is breakable. And this thing, what do I need for this? The ice covering this opening can be melted with extreme heat. Okay, so I need like fire missiles or something. Do this, this. Oh my god! Ah, oh, I suck. I am the worst. Well, that solved itself. Hello, thing. The door directly above has been unlocked. Oh. That was... Okay, why would you... That was a weird place to have the locking slash unlocking mechanism for a door. Uh, well, this just feels like a waste these past couple of episode, episodes, but I'm happy, at least with this one, because I, I've learned many new things and we didn't waste time completely. I've gotten like missile tanks and an energy tank and I've learned stuff. I've learned stuff. This is what happened. Oh, it's another plas uh, pla plasma bamboo, was it? Oh. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that's creepy. Or is this... This is behaving differently. Yeah. Scatter bamboo. Pulsing tendrils of energy extend from creature's body. Like all bamboos, these creatures can only be harmed by electrical energy. Proximity to these life forms may result in e electric, electrical visor interference. It is possible to avoid engaging scatter bamboos by rolling into the morph ball and slipping between the rotating energy streams. Oh, okay. But when I blew up that ice, you could see for a brief second a pair of ice. That's Samus's ice reflecting in the visor back at you. That was really cool. Ah! This is a huge morph ball tunnel. And why do you exist? What is your purpose in life? Scatter bamboos. Or... Eh, no. I guess I, I guess my leg is a bit in the way. Ooh, that those look like frozen beetles or something. No, oh, baby Shegoth, glacial predator. Ice shell protects vul vulnerable dorsal area. Shegoth, isn't that a trophy in one of the Smash Bros games? Like a creature, young Shegoths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, with which serves to protect a layer of vulnerable flesh. With this being their only weak point, baby Shegoths will turn quickly in order to not allow predators the opportunity to strike at their backs. Powerful hunters, they fire bursts of ultra cold gas at potential prey, then feast on their frozen victim. That doesn't really make sense scientifically because gas. Then it has, like, how cold would the solid of that thing be if the gas is really cold? <laughs> yeah, I think there was, like, a Smash Bros. trophy. Oh, oh, they are big. Whoa, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, really big. Baby, she got my ass. Ha <laughs> ha Ow! Oh, that was the cold gas. <laughs> Ow. Ow, I need to scratch my nose. Are you gonna... Nope. They they won't walk, walk in here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Bitch. Bitch. I guess the missile... Yeah, the missiles are better. You just have to keep at it. Yeah, I also learned... Apparently the missiles are... If you're targeting a creature like this, the missiles are, like, they will track it. It's heat-seeking. Or, well, in this case, it's very much not. It's just tracking. Turn around, bitch! Hi! Whoop! <laughs> I'm safe in here. Don't worry, I'm not a threat to you. You can go home and go to sleep. <laughs> not. And then it just dies on it. No, you. No, oh well. No, there, okay. Oh! Why is the body still here? 
Uh, I didn't notice if the other one did that. Well, I'm actually going to end this episode here. It might be a bit weird in timing. I don't know. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Watch a video. Boom.